Hey y'all, I'm so glad you're back for another What's For Dinner video. The first recipe that I'm going to share with you is Cajun Angel Hair Pasta. And I just seasoned these thinly sliced chicken breasts with some Weber's New Orleans Cajun seasoning. So I browned the chicken on medium heat in some olive oil until it was this nice golden brown color. And when the chicken was finished, I removed it from the pan and added in one chopped onion. Add a splash of cold water with your onions to pick up all that browning from the bottom of your skillet. That is going to help you make a really yummy gravy. And so while those onions are browning, you can go ahead and start boiling your angel hair pasta. So to get started on your sauce, you can add in one cup of heavy cream, one cup of chicken broth, one tablespoon of better than bouillon roasted garlic paste and one tablespoon of tomato paste in with your onions. Sprinkle in some red pepper flakes for some spice and then go ahead and bring that to a boil. Then you can start adding in your cheese. I use grated Parmesan and then a shredded Italian mix. Basically just add as much cheese as you need to get it to the consistency that you like. So go ahead and let that boil for a few minutes while you drain your pasta and then you can come back and pour that sauce over your noodles and top it with some green onions and your sliced chicken. This was so good and really easy. Those noodles just melt in your mouth. So the next thing that I'm making is some air fried pork chops and potatoes and I'm just mixing one tablespoon of onion powder, smoked paprika and some salt and pepper to rub onto the pork chops. So you want to make sure that your pork chops are really dry so that they will crisp up in the air fryer. So go ahead and spray the basket with some Pam olive oil and then place your pork chops in there and spray them with some Pam as well. Put it in the air fryer at 400 degrees for six minutes on each side. So when they're done, you can go ahead and place them on a plate and cover it with some tin foil so that they stay warm while you're cooking your potatoes. So I seasoned my potatoes with this Montreal chicken seasoning and I mixed it all up and then I put it in the air fryer at 400 degrees for 6 minutes and they came out so crispy and delicious. I served this with some green beans and mac and cheese and it was an easy weeknight meal. So last but not least is one of my favorite things to make, pepper steak and gravy. So I got some little chuck steaks here that I'm seasoning with some Tony's and then I browned them in my cast iron skillet. So I did not pat these dry because all of that extra juice just turns into gravy and it adds so much flavor. So when your steaks finish browning, you can go ahead and remove them and then add a jalapeno pepper, a red bell pepper, and one chopped onion. Go ahead and mix those around with a splash of water and let them get soft. So when your veggies are soft and you're ready to build your gravy, you can go ahead and add in one cup of water, a splash of browning sauce, one teaspoon of beef base, one teaspoon of roasted garlic paste. I seasoned it with a little bit of black pepper, Weber's steak and chop seasoning, and a little bit of Tony's. 
after I got that seasoned up, I went ahead and added the steaks back in. And then I brought it to a low simmer and covered it with some tin foil. I don't have a lid for this cast iron skillet, so tin foil worked just fine. I left it there simmering and covered for about one hour. So after one hour, I removed the foil and I added in half a cup of water with a little bit of Tony's dry roux. I just sprinkled that in there to add some flavor and thicken up the gravy. This was such a delicious meal and it was just the perfect comfort food. I didn't even make any sides with it because rice and gravy is all you need. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. See you next time. Bye.